Comanchero associate, Albert Tangatala Kepa, aka Piggy, 34, was arrested on 24th of October 2022 in Karam Downs, southeast of Melbourne, and charged with assisting the offender over the murder of drug kingpin Tony Muckbell's former associate Mitat Rasimi. He was the fourth person to be charged in relation to Rasimi's murder, after Comanchero boss Mick Murray and patched members Lazeny Kakato and Richard Ine. Tangatala Kepa appeared in Melbourne Magistrates Court on 26 October, where prosecutors accused him of disposing the gun used to shoot Rasimi. Police believe that the gun was used for the murder, and was ditched in concrete at a Brunswick construction site. Albert Tangatala Kepa 34, also known as Piggy because his last name means he who eats pork with the king. Piggy was granted bail, despite police fears that the New Zealand citizen could use his Comanchero connections to flee Australia. Police believe that Piggy was paid around $5,000 plus a Rolex watch to ditch the gun. He was chosen in the process due to the fact that he worked at a construction site, as a construction worker and had access to a concrete mixer truck. Rasimi, once part of Tony Muckbell's drug empire known as The Company, died in an ambush when shots were fired from a car that pulled up beside him in Dandenong. His death came after he refused to pay Como members the $216,000 debt that was owed by his brother and a property developer to an investor over a 2014 failed property investment. The court heard that Piggy was handed the murder weapon the day after the fatal shooting, on March 4. The gun, which has never been recovered, was understood to have been disposed off in a concrete pour at a Brunswick construction site on March 5. Detective Acting Sergeant Thomas Osiak, from the Homicide Squad, gave evidence that police found a photo on his mobile phone, taken on March 6, depicting packets of cash and a Rolex watch. Police believe the cash and watch were payment for this job which was successfully completed. The accused denied this, telling police the photo showed $5,000 in cash he earned cutting hair as a barber in his garage, and the watch was a gift from his employer and was a fake. Police opposed bail, saying that the accused is a New Zealand citizen and even if he surrendered his passport he could flee from the country through an unregulated port. He has dealings with high-ranking Comanchero members, and himself is a prospect or a nominee of the club. Despite the concerns, Magistrate Simon Zabrowski said there wasn't any evidence before the court that people had actually fled through unregulated ports. Magistrate was satisfied that the accused could be released with strict bail conditions. He was granted bail with a $10,000 surety forked out by a friend, he would be on curfew from 10 p.m., and was warned not to associate with any Comancheros. He will return to court on January 17th.